Hey everyone, welcome to Kempner Canucks. My name is Rev Trev, and I'm so glad that you're here. Today I want to talk about my Carson Soucy concerns. Now, uh, as you saw in my last video, I was, I'm I'm pretty positive about Susi being on the roster as a pickup, three seasons. I, I'm really excited about that. But there's been so much negative com comments by all kinds of people, whether they're Canucks fans or, or other teams fans or the media, about what Vancouver has done in, the, in free agency. And so I didn't dismiss what they said. I went and listened. I wanted to learn. I think we need to be lifelong learners. I understand that I'm a biased fan because I'm a Canucks fan, so I try not to be. I try to be passionate, realistic, and honest. So I do listen. Now, I, I just to clarify, as you saw in, in different posts that I did, Susie was not in my top five um, free agents that I was hoping for on uh, once free agency started. Now, I didn't know much about Carson Susie, and I kind of dismissed him. I didn't think that was a real rumor. Next thing you know, we're picking him up. And after watching his highlights, I just need to be honest, I'm I'm pretty excited because I'm one of those guys that loves to watch defensemen who can hit. I mean, like I know he's not Luke Shen who gets 318 hits in a season, but he is a guy that had some of those big hits like Tom Wilson had. Now, I'm not saying he's as good as Tom Wilson. I'm hoping he is one day. But um, I like how Tom has those massive hits, and that's super fun to watch. So I just want to clarify something because I've gotten quite a few uh, comments over the last number of videos that that uh, I'm not an expert, and I've never claimed to be an expert. In fact, I I just claim to be a passionate fan of the Vancouver Canucks, and I love watching hockey, and I love watching the NHL, and so I I like to share my opinions. So if you don't like that. That's cool. But thank you for watching and thank you for commenting. But anyways, uh, so let's get into this video. My biggest concern comes from a comment I received, uh, which has triggered my PSTD um, from the past. And I'm warning you, this might trigger you as well. Okay. So let me just share this comment with you and I'll, I'll explain to you why. Okay. So we'll go to the side. So... Uh, a, a Kraken fan posted, happy to see Susie leave the Kraken. He twice this year cost them games with late penalties because he was a hothead instead of doing his job. Good luck, Canucks. Now, why that triggered me is why where I put in the comments and I said, yikes, thanks for the honest take. And then I'm like, I hope he's not our, our next Tyler Myers. What line pairing did he pa play on? Not pan on. Uh, with and with who and his response was I hope he return he turns out to be good for you guys he mostly played third line with Justin Schultz I I'm concerned that Carson Soucy could be the next Tyler Myers now now let's just okay first of all in this comment I want to tell you something really funny okay when he said twice this year it cost them he cost them games with late penalties because he was a hothead. Have you watched Tyler Myers? Did you watch him in the playoffs when we made it there? Uh, he's not the most disciplined guy. <laughs> so I understand what you're saying. And I don't know if he's going to be the next Tyler Myers, but I'm I'm nervous. And this does, does really concern me, okay? And so also I, I comment back to people. I enjoy that part of making videos. I like interacting with people who take the time to watch, to comment. And uh, I want, why don't you do me a favor right now, and you've already watched, why don't you do the, the Rev Trev hat trick? Watch, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I appreciate you being here. Okay, so is Susie the next Tyler Myers? Now, before I can answer that question, is I want to talk about the stats. I want to show you some of these stats because both were uh, both both came as free agents to Vancouver, okay? So Tyler Myers, as you can see, he's a right-handed shot defenseman, six foot eight, almost 230 pounds. He's 33 years old. He has two years with the Winnipeg Jets before he came to Vancouver. He played 80 plus games. He had six goals, nine goals, 30 assists, and then 22. So he had 36 
points, 31 points in those two years. His hits were down in that two years, that first year there with Winnipeg. And we need to remember, he was he was highly touted coming out of Buffalo. He was a high higher draft pick. So this, this guy's got supposed to have a lot of pedigree, right? 68 hits only. And I think that's the thing I don't like about Tyler Myers is that he does just does not hit enough or doesn't hit well enough. Like sometimes I wonder how how they count the hits. Okay. 68 and then 97. That's that's respectable. Penalty minutes is fine. The block shots in Winnipeg were awesome. And uh, he averaged 21, 20 minutes a game. Coming to Vancouver, played four years. He's on a five-year contract. He only played 68 games. He only had 21 points. He had 99 hits in only 68 games. That's impressive. Um, 108 block shots. That's impressive. Played good minutes. So the first year, not too bad, right? Next year, again, didn't play very many games. Same amount of points. Similar hits, way less block shots. Okay, played more minutes, another minute, not 45 seconds maybe. So then, then we go into the four, uh, third year with Vancouver, 82 games, one goal, 17 points, uh, 18, no, sorry, 17 assists, 18 points, 145 hits though. That's that's decent. 66 penalty minutes, 148 block shots, which is the best of his time in those years. Almost 22 minutes a, a night. And then last year, 78 games, only one goal again, only 16 points, or 16 assists, 17 points, 93 hits. So his hits just dropped significantly. His penalty minutes went up by only 10, and but he had a lot of block shots. So... I guess when you look at Tyler Myers, he had he was actually pretty good in in Winnipeg. And one of my friends, when he got signed to Winnipeg or from Winnipeg to Vancouver, he just laughed. He's a Jets fan. He said, "You guys are nuts." I, he goes, "I don't even know if he's worth four million. Never mind six. Like he they they he said he turned the puck over so much. He was just a defensive liability. They were so glad he's gone. Hence this." This comment. So let's look at Ryan Susie, okay? So he is a left-handed uh, and right-handed, can play right-handed. Uh, he's a left-handed. Anyways, he's a defenseman that can play left and right. <laughs> Sorry. 6'5", 210. That's pretty good size. 28, only 28 years old. He turns 29 in July 27th, okay? So in 64 games with the Kraken, he had 21 points, but he had 10 goals. That's awesome. If we can get 10 goals out of him, that'd be great. 118 hits, happy with that. Penalty minutes are fine. Uh, 73 block shots. But in in uh, 14 more games with the Kraken, his goals dropped from 10 to 3. His assists stayed the same. And so that's why the big point differential, he didn't score as many goals. His hits went up because he had more games, which was 143. I love that. And his blocks went up to almost 100. And he's only playing 16 for uh, 16 minutes, 17 minutes a game. So in Vancouver, what's the plan here? <laughs> like, is he going to... He's going to get top four minutes, at, in, in my opinion. So he's going to... I think some of his stats are going to increase. I just wonder if his offensive stats are going to increase because they really need to. Um, because really, he's scoring at a pace of Tyler Myers, and that's not just not good enough in Vancouver. Okay. But here's the thing. They're both tall. They both signed as free agents. And they both got comments like this from their from fans from their teams. And that it, that's worrisome for me. Just, just being real here, okay? But why it's not the same is because it's not a $6 million contract we gave Susie. We gave him three... Uh, 0.25 for three years, not for... And, and Myers was for five years, okay? So that that's the two biggest things that are very, very different. But wondering about style of play, wondering about production, we're going from someone who had really good years and has been declining in Vancouver to someone who hasn't had great years and we're hoping does better. So I'm hoping that Susie looks incredible um here's the thing 
I, I it's just it's just concerning to me. But what I'm interested to see is are they ever going to play these two guys together, the twin towers, right? Six eight, six five out there. I wonder if that would be a disaster or that'd be exciting. I think they're going to try it. Okay, so. Um, but I would love to know what you think. So please post in the comments what you think. Um, are you worried about the sign at three years signing with Susie? Um, I know there's a number of people that are concerned that it's not good enough. I mean, we only had so much money to play with. So I'm thankful for that. So I, I'm looking forward to it. I'm not going to say he's going to be Tyler Myers. I'm not going to say he's going to be a bust. I'm just concerned that there's a possibility that this could happen. Hoping that he turns around. We'll be cheering for him. And... Uh, Again, do that Rev Trev uh, hat trick. Watch, comment, subscribe, and of course, always go Canucks. Go.